Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bent Knitter. So a couple weeks ago we went into kind of the basics of what you may need for knitting kind of to kind of get you started. We went into the needles, we went into yarn and kind of a project bag. Now once you get started um, and get a little, a little bit more advanced, there's a couple other items that you might want to consider getting that are quite useful. So that are pretty inexpensive too. So this is kind of the advanced section of what to get of other tools that you might consider getting. Um, so the first thing that I really wanted to get into was uh, stitch markers. Um, there's a lot of different varieties out there, um, but these are also very useful on a couple of different ways. Uh, one, obviously for patterns, a lot of patterns will say, start patterns here and then here, play stitch markers. So you know when to start and end your pattern. Um, or if you need to know when to repeat at a certain place, stitch markers are very helpful for that. Um, but what I also like stitch markers for, if you're making kind of a larger project with one, two, three hundred stitches, it can be a little bit easier to make, keep count. If you put a stitch marker every 10 stitches, every 50 stitches, um, they can help keep track of stitches and that way it makes it a little bit harder to lose or drop stitches because you will know between you know my pink and yellow s stitch marker I have 50 stitches and if you just as you're knitting count and you have 49 you know something got dropped so that's another use for them which I enjoy quite a bit um, multi-use but also one recommendation regardless of what type of stitch marker that you get Make sure the stitch markers that you use for your project are different colors from the yarn that you're using. I may, I know it may seem obvious, but I've definitely just thrown a stitch marker on and it's been very similar or the same color. And it's definitely, I've lost a stitch marker when I'm going and it's kind of throwing me off. So make sure that they're contrasting and they kind of pop so that way you know where they are in your project. Um, and I know for me personally, I like a little bit bigger stitch markers so that way um, I know where they are. Some stitch markers are actually quite small and can blend into some works. But also, they're also not too expensive usually so that way they give you usually um, you know 15, 20 of them in a pack. But also um, these are actually pretty cool. They're kind of tip points or si stitch savers. Um, for different projects. A lot of people use them for double edge needles um, just because when you're working with a smaller needle stitches tend to slide off um, but these are actually really good for if you're just going to set a project down or if you have a project on the move this way you know your, your project is not going to lose any stitches if you just pop one of these on to your um, needle so that way it kind of helps to keep it on the needle. So I definitely recommend these. Um, also, I'll, I'll, I will put one or two links in the description below to some cheap um, versions of everything so that way you guys know kind of if you're interested you can go take a look at these two. Um, the one last thing that I'm going to talk about today is uh, stitch mar uh, row counters which are actually pretty useful um, because a lot of patterns well, say repeat this pattern every 10 rows, for instance. So there's a lot of different versions of these, both physical and digital. Um, I got this a little while ago, but it just kind of sits on your uh, sits on your finger. You can just press it, obviously, and it um, and it will just go up, and it will just reset. If you want something physical, um, that's you know these are nice for if you want something on your body. But if you don't, there's also physical counters that you can have. Um, what I usually go with is actually a digital counter. Um, this is just called stitch counter. Um, I, I know I have an Apple phone, but um, this is also free online. So I'm sure there's an Android version too. Or um, The reason why I like this is just because you can add as many um, counters as you want for one project. So if something says repeat this pattern 10 times, 
you can count your rows, but also you can count how many times you repeated that pattern. So it can help for a little bit more complicated patterns. And also, uh, I always, I know most of us keep our phones on us so that way you're not endangering of losing your stitch counter and where you were. So that's why I tend to lean towards the digital and something physical on my phone because I always tend to know where my phone is. But that's kind of it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoy. If you have any feedback, let me know down in the comments and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.